guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get this fresh face makeup perfect for a party in the summer. First thing you're going to want to do, or at least I like to do, is moisturize my lips. That way they're nice and smooth by the time I put my lipstick on. Of course, I'm going to conceal my under eye circles with this NYX HD concealer just to cover up those dark circles and just to highlight my face a little bit at the same time. I'm going to use my damp beauty blender to blend it out underneath my eyes, on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. And like I say, I like doing this because it like highlights at the same time. And now I'm going to set all of that with a powder. This is by CoverGirl. I've been loving this stuff a lot lately. And I've been avoiding foundation just because I'm so tan right now. And now I'm going to use my favorite summer foundation or powder foundation is this Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Tan. This stuff is amazing. It covers so well and it just makes your skin look so good. And now, of course, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I've been filling my eyebrows in lightly lately. I usually use a pencil and then a powder, but for some reason lately I've just been using the powder. So I do that. I lightly fill them in with this brush and then of course I'm going to curl my lashes this is the Shiseido, yeah, Shiseido eyelash curler and this Milani eyeshadow primer I put all over my lid and then I use this concealer stick just to make my eyelids a solid color to make the eyeshadow stand out more true to color and then I'm going to take this matte eyeshadow and put it all over my crease area just to make it look like I have one just to define it more Then I'm going to take that darker brown in the palette, the Lorac Pro palette, just to deepen up the crease just a little bit more. I want it to look like a gradient effect. So I just take that and put it in my crease as well. Then I'm going to take the darker brown and then I'm going to take a pointier brush and just define the outer corner just a little bit more. And this eyeshadow guys, the video does not do this eyeshadow justice, especially if you're tan or if you are a woman of color. This is so gorgeous guys. I get so many compliments when I wear this eyeshadow. The camera is not doing it justice at all, but it sparkles so pretty like pinks, golds, even a little bit of coppery color. It's, it's so gorgeous guys. I'm telling you, you will love this. And I'm just using my finger to press it onto my eye. And then I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye. It just makes this color pop even more. And I'm highlighting it with the Naked 2 palette. And I'm just basically sticking that in the inner corner as you can see. And then I'm going to line my eye. I apologize. I tried to film it, which I did. I filmed one eye. But it was such a horrible job. It was I was sweating so bad right here. So it did me best. And then, um, of course, apply your mascara. I already applied my mascara. Sorry, I did it off camera. And then I just reapply the shimmer just in case I blended it too much. But I'm telling you, you guys have to find it. I think it may be a limited edition color, but it's one of my favorites. I've been wearing this look constantly. And then now I'm just going to take that same light brown color, I think it was sable, and put it at the lower lash line. I don't want to put any um, eyeliner on the bottom just because I want the top to be the focus. And yeah, I just wanted to smoke it out just a little bit on the bottom. And then I take the highlight colors that are in the Lorac palette, the nude and champagne color, and I highlight it just a little bit more in the inner corner. So those two colors are so beautiful. It makes your inner corners sparkle so much. It's really, really beautiful. And then of course I'm going to tight line my eye with this Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Eye Pencil. It just makes the eyes pop even more. So I decided to do that instead of black. I wanted to avoid black completely on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to put a peach toned blush on my cheeks. I really have been enjoying NYX products lately. And I just slapped that on my cheek.
now I'm going to contour my cheeks, of course. <laughs> Changes the complete look. And yeah, just, you know, on the cheekbones, forehead, the normal places. And now, of course, highlighting. I love highlighting so much in the summer season, so I'm definitely going to do that. I absolutely love this look. I think it'd be perfect for a summer party for sure. I actually wore this um, yesterday <laughs> for a girls' night out, and it was super, super cute. I, I smoked it out just a little bit, but I really, really love that infallible eyeshadow. But blends it all out so it all flows together and then I completely forgot to highlight my brow bone I didn't want to sh forget but I highlight my brow bone with that matte color in the Naked Tea palette and now for the lips of course you guys know me I love my pinks but I wanted to be a sheer pink so I chose a whisper this is a really beautiful baby pink and then I chose the mixed butter, butter gloss because they're just so buttery and smooth I love the butter glosses so much and yeah I really like the lip combo a lot And that's pretty much the complete look, guys. I would totally rock this thing this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have a fabulous summer. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.